So girls, you know, um, your your boobs stay inside your shirt. Inside. Pools. We should do the accent tag. Grayson, how you do that? He's like this thing on um YouTube. Mm -hmm. I know a girl, um, her name's, oh, what's her name? Brittany. She has it on her page. And it's like words that you say and see how bad your accent is. It's really cool. It's like aunt. It's like some people say aunt. But I say aunt. Aunt. And then like, um, it's something else. Hey, he's still doing them. I wonder if he did that. Dylan did one since then. Why did Dylan Howard like that? He's like, I did, I bitch ass. Just <laughs> missed the bag. Ugh. Her and her and Kenny can trail still go out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add her and I'm gonna go creep. Their pictures are together. Oh, sorry. What is that? I don't know. Oh. Who is that? Kenny Contreras. Yeah. They don't even look like him. No. Dude, cut his hair. Yeah. Okay. We got to still do something interactive with our negative number of followers. No. Or subscribers. Twitter. Get it right. Twitter. Get it right. These chips are so good. I've been addicted to these things so well. Never commit suicide. Yeah, for real. There's nothing that could be that bad. Seriously, I mean, if you hear somebody talking about, oh, I just want to kill myself. My life is just so bad. Well, you ain't going to have to kill yourself because I'm going to do it for you if you're going to say that again. Okay. They either uh -huh. want attention. Or some people are really thinking about it and you need to say something. Or they're just really. Tell someone. Yeah. Or they're just really bored. <laughs> oh, I'm bored, so I'm going to go kill myself. Oh, what else would you do when you're bored? Eat. 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 And make videos. For a negative number of subscribers. But for real though, like, there's always somebody out there you can talk to. I have an idea for a next video. What? Like, uh, um, like an awareness video. You know what I'm talking about? <gasps> yeah, let's just do it right now. No, because there's a lot of stuff on this video. We're acting all dumb in the beginning. And then we get off series. Like, don't do it. Okay, well, let's just do it. Then they'll keep watching our video. I don't know. And we can name it awareness video. Okay. Ah, this is our awareness video. What are we trying to aware them of? Okay. We are awareing people of dog attacks. Suicide. I got bit in the butt by a dog before, so I am not a big fan of big dogs. Keep them away. Drinking and drugs. Okay. You start our awareness video off. I'm eating. BRB. <laughs> Where'd she go? It's right here. Okay. Our awareness video. Goes like, I have a notification. Goes like, I have a notification. Six people. Nobody likes my pictures. Okay. If you feel like drinking alcohol is your way out of stuff, you're wrong. <laughs> She's broken. Too many kids grow up in alcoholic homes. My family, my mom's going to kill me. So don't drink when you're young, because when you get older, you're oh, just going to drink. Crap, I'm in trouble. And then when you get older... You're going to be able to drink. Then you have no reason to stop. So don't do it. And drugs. Same thing. Except when in the hospital right now because he smokes too much and he's got chest pains. There you go. You die from it. What the heck? And, I mean. Don't it, break your mom's clips. Yeah, that too. But drugs, though, Jeez. like, even. Okay, so. You do it now and everything, and you're cool and stuff, but think about, like, if you're an athlete, and then... Drug test, you're kicked off the team. Exactly. You could go to a co <laughs> you go could, to have college? Yeah. You could go to college off of scholarships and stuff if you're, like, a really good athlete. So why would you ruin hey. all that just because 
you decided to smoke weed for the first time, just don't do it. And don't do any of the other stuff. Because even though it seems like it's just the best idea at the time, don't do it. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah. Because, like, families, if you um, did get into drugs or whatever, it could tear a family apart. Yeah, it can. It has yeah, happened. It so happened can my family before, alcohol. but it didn't be me. It wasn't me. See, that's just it, though. Like, what are you going to do when you're, like, hey, look. What are you going to do when, like, you get, just say, like, you smoked weed, like, two or three times. And then, like, with your friends or your cousins or something. And you thought you were just the coolest thing in the world. So, and then you're just like sitting in your, sitting at the house one day or something and you're bored. So you're like, hey, I, I'm just going to go smoke a little joint or something. Um, and then you find your stash in your siblings or your room or you call a friend or something. And then you start keeping a stash at your house. And then what happens if your mama is like going through your room one day and finds it? Yeah. Like, I mean, then what do you think will happen? I mean, I think that if you honestly think that your parents are okay with it and they don't give a crap, you're wrong. Because even if they don't get on to you, it hurts their feelings because they probably feel disappointed that you did it. But there's no probably to it. They feel disappointed because they haven't raised their child right. Yeah, because My they... My parents would be like that. They would kill me. Yeah, because, I mean, your parents are like, you know, they tried to raise you better and then they're probably going to blame it on themselves because they think they didn't raise you right. Yeah. So, I mean, just don't do it. I think peer pressure is, like, the biggest thing. Like, if you have a friend that's doing it, even if you don't want to do it, you still want to talk and do it. Yeah. There's going to be times like that, but, I mean. Don't let it. Don't. I mean, sure. That's the thing, though. If you do it one time, then they're going to be like, oh, you did it last time. Why don't you do it again, you know? So, you stand up for yourself the first time so they won't keep on doing it around you. And if they're good friends, they'll have enough respect not to do it around you. For real. And they won't keep asking you to do it and expecting you to do it and stuff. No matter how good of a friend they are, if they're um, peer pressuring you to do something that you don't want to do, they're then they're not, not a that good, good friend. friend. Yeah. I mean, you just need to drop them right there because they're going to hurt you later on. And girls, drama is horrible with us. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. So if you ever get caught up in like some kind of drama with some, mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. said, he said, <laughs> all this crap at school. Like, I've actually heard of girls, like, going, okay, they just want to give up on life because of the drama going on at their school. If you are being bullied, you need to talk to somebody. Like, don't just let it happen. I mean, if you stand up for yourself, don't let it get violent. Just stand up for yourself and tell somebody. Violence is the answer. No, it's not. Violence is never the answer. <laughs> and if you are bullying <laughs> somebody... Then screw you, because you're a bad person. Yeah, you don't need to do that, because you could be the person that pushes them over the edge and do exactly, something. Exactly, like, if what you, if... Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> if you, like, call someone to commit suicide because of something that you did, later down, or your whole life, you're going to think, God, this person could have had, like, a wonderful life. They could have had kids. Like, you might be, had, like, okay, you bully somebody, you call somebody fat, you call somebody ugly, and then they go home... And they killed themselves and everything. And then you think it's just, like, not a big deal at the time, you know? And then, like, it's you're... It's going to eat away at you. The guilt's going to kill you. Yeah. Even if somebody... Just say, nobody ever said anything about you calling that person fat or ugly or something. And then somebody else did. And then they brought it up, like, 20 years, 30 years later. Like, somebody brought it up at a high school gra a reunion... <laughs> And they're like, hey, you remember when you called that girl fat and ugly? Isn't it a coincidence that she killed herself, like, the next day or the next week or something? And then your kids find out about it, and then you finally have to fess up or whatever. That'd like, be hard. I mean, that's sad. How yeah. Could you, I, I mean, don't think I'd be able to do that. I, I wouldn't mean, be able to live with myself knowing that I'm the person that shoved the other person off the cliff, you know? I don't, I don't know. We need to do a video about drama. Girl, drama. Drama. Well, this is our awareness video that started off dumb and got serious. Well, it started off in the beginning. Oh, I'm eating the chip. Yeah. We'll just cut that part out. No, we'll just leave it. It'll be okay. It's a long video. Yeah, this video is like 20 minutes long. We'll just cut the part of the chip. No, it's a good... And, no, then we'll make I it like into another it, video. Though. Oh, my gosh. Ew. Are you what I'm saying? I saw that. Okay, well, bye. Bye, guys.